What if there was a vaccine for treating cancer? We're here with a member of UF Health's Cancer Center to learn more. Dr. Sayer, tell us about your novel vaccine. So we've developed a brand new vaccine uh, that leverages the groundbreaking mRNA technology to teach the immune system to fight various things like infectious diseases such as COVID-19 can also be done against cancer. And so we've taken the information from cancer in the form of mRNA, and then we're able to load it in a fat particle uh, in such a way that that particle can be injected intravenously, localized to the immune cells of the patient for teaching that patient's immune system to fight the RNA of their cancer. But for the work that we do, we're moving this forward into childhood brain cancer. Uh, Brain cancer is the most common uh, cause of cancer death in children here in the United States. So we're quite hopeful that this approach can teach a child's immune system to fight their cancer. And also that information we think can be used to develop this form of mRNA vaccine technology for, for all cancer. What makes an mRNA vaccine important if therapies like chemotherapy already exist? That's a great question. Chemotherapy is a standard of care for childhood brain cancer, but as a standard of care, it often can come at considerable cost. And so it's so important that we develop new therapies that allow us to avoid these side effects. At the same time, when these therapies don't always work either. And when they don't work, you're just giving toxicity. You're just harming a child. So the ability to develop something that's more specific. It's so important to avoid these side effects, to provide definitive therapy if those mainstays are failing. Chemotherapy is not remembering to fight your cancer when it's off. The immune system can, and that really makes it a powerful ally in the war on cancer. Stay tuned for further updates from UF Health on even more groundbreaking discoveries and trials like these.